What's up guys? Uh, Alfie here and today I've got another tutorial for you for the Raspberry Pi. It's going to be um, on how to get VNC working and SSH so you can SSH into your device when you're in a different room or something on your iPod. But you can leave it running in say a cupboard or on a table. So the first things you're going to need are, I'll put these in the description. Oh, what did I do then? What? Um, okay. Uh, anyway, first things first, you're gonna want to um, uh, um, can't see, can't see, there we go. You're gonna need a tight VNC server for the VNC. So to get that on your Pi, you need to type in on terminal apt get install tight vnc server that line of code and you should it should start installed in tight vnc server then you would run start x or start uh, you could type in start x like you would boot into nxd or you could type in just tight vnc Server. Um, oh wait, I just remembered you need to uh, use root, so super user, whatever you want to call it. So s, uh, sudo minus s will give you root. I'll give you uh, root access, and then you can type that code in, and then you can type vnc so, uh, run it, and then your server should run, and it should come up with like raspberry pi colon one, and then that's your server then basically. Then you will have to get um, a program called Fring or Fing Fing on the iPod search or iPhone or iPad. I iPad. And it tells you the uh, IP so you wanna get it will tell you the port for VNC so you would have to go to your server IP, in my case it's 1.27.5.9.2.1 That's my uh, Pi So I would have to, uh, well 5.9.1 you wouldn't have that, but that's my uh, Raspberry Pi's IP address So you'd have to like, um, your could be something like 10.0.0 2.78 for all I know. Like, for all I know, but on thing then, you're gonna have to uh, go into your IP and it should say Raspberry Pi Foundation underneath it, so 10.0.1.27 and then and then go into services I think it's services check them. I'm pretty sure it's services yeah services and then y'all it should say vnc minus one or vnc whatever and my port is 5901. So then your IP would look like this for your VNC. VNC 10.0.1.27.5901. So that's what your VNC would look like. Um, when you do this, for, to um that's how to VNC so to VNC you need to download VNC viewer which is on the desktop so to VNC viewer and it should be the second one down and it's real VNC free edition go to download it type in your information and download the uh, Windows version or Mac version whatever. and then run it I would make a desktop shortcut because when you run it and if it 
doesn't work the first time, there's uh, like, um, it boards, you have to type in DNC here, and it, because it's not in your uh, program files, it will stop you here. So, uh, you type in that on this, so, there it is, click OK, and then you have to set up a password on the Raspberry Pi itself. So I set mine as the uh, same one as the Pi itself, and then your uh, VNC den. So there's one tutorial for you, so you can open terminal. Or you can open next. Or you could open say open Genie. Let's open Genie. Program. Runs pretty smooth on the uh, here when I'm not recording, so I think it's because I'm recording. It's kind of like, slower. There we are. Genie's open. You can write programs in that. So let's go close that. And for uh, to SSH, you need a program called uh, Putty. So you need to go to download com and then search in the bar for Putty on PC and it's the first one there. And download and install that. It's got really good reviews. On macOS, you need uh, on macOS 10, you'd need a program called remote see um I think this is it and I use a screen sharing basically to uh me and see it's a really good app never knew they did my fun app but uh threat was blocked okay don't go on that website uh anyway close that and to SSH you need Putty, and then you could run Putty, and then you need to select SSH, and then it'll change the port to 22 for you, which is the uh, SSH port, as you'll know for Fing from Fing. So hard to say. And uh, then you type in your IP, as you would normally. You'd log in as you would normally to your Raspberry Pi, and then you have full access of your Raspberry Pi. So you can sudo minus s to get root user and stuff like that. It's really good. All the programs are amazing. Hope this tutorial helped. Comment, like if it like comment if you're having problems or if it worked for you. Like if it did work for you. Show your support. Um, forgot to mention that in the last video, but. Just thanks for watching guys and thanks for like over 200 views in my last video, that's amazing. <laughs> Bye.